Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a quick look at the latest build for Windows 11 in the dev channel. This is build 25151. Um, I want to take this occasion also to answer a couple of questions and kind of um, help people understand what 25151 is. Um, I got a comment yesterday on the channel about, oh well, you know, you're not on the latest uh, Windows 11. It's 25151, and 22,000 is not, um, you know, it's an old version. No, it doesn't work like that. Build 22,000 is still the build for Windows 11 for everybody. It is the launched Windows 11 version for um, everybody that wants to have the stable version of Windows. 25151 is not for everybody. It's a insider build in the dev channel. And this is the ring which has the most problems if you ever go to that uh, uh, channel. So remember that uh, it's not for everyone. And uh, knowing how to reinstall Windows is a must if you actually go on dev channel. So they rolled out this build with nothing much in it that is new. So uh, basically there's really no front-facing feature. But we know that under the hood there's a few things that they actually have implemented that might come back uh, one of them is that they had redesigned the open with dialog box and then they rolled it back and put the open with regular box that we had in the past or even on windows 10 now, apparently they're going to reintroduce it slowly to uh, the different uh, insiders so at some point it's going to show up now there are ways to actually uh, get this if you wish um, if using a uh, tool, but um, I rather you know kind of just go with the flow of what's in the builds that we actually have. Uh, it's interesting to see that they're still doing the A/B testing for the uh, File Explorer that, uh, for my um, in my case, still doesn't have tabs in any of the versions. So. Uh, you know, it's, uh, once again, something that I find completely useless to have, you know, the, uh, the A-B testing, in my opinion, because A-B testing, what does it do? It doesn't do anything. It just, uh, you know, annoys people that want to have uh, the features. And, and, you know, if you're an insider, you want to have those features. Everybody should have them. There's no sense. There's, I don't see any positives of having a b testing honestly for the rest um well it's stable seems to work well um that didn't have any problems with uh this build since yesterday i did even some uh, a youtube stream with it and everything went perfectly well so um, i would guess that um, it looks pretty good some people have been mentioning some problems and of course i get questions regularly about so I moved to this build. Now I've got this thing that doesn't work. That's dev channel. Uh, that's why dev channel is not for everybody. Because, yeah, you can break something. And often there's nothing you can do about it except wait for the build that's going to fix the problem. When you go to the, the website, the, the insider website, they have the blog post. In the blog post, at the bottom, after they talk about the bug fixes and so on or the new features, they also have a full list of known issues so that's important to check is that problem you're having a known issue on the build uh, i'm going to share the link actually to the blog post in this video so just look at the uh, description below you'll see the link it's going to bring you to the full description of you know what they changed what they did and of course the known issues that are in the uh, dev channel build so hopefully we'll have some things to talk about with new features eventually in the uh, builds for Windows 11 on Dev Channel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.